We are just outside of Totem Pole Park, and we're in a building, primarily so these totem poles can be protected. And you can kind of see how they paint what they want to carve out, get an idea of how to do the pole. This pole actually is nothing except when you get to the very tippy top. It's a memorial and mortuary pole commemorating individuals. The raven is portrayed on this uh, memorial column. The columns are usually topped by a single figure indicating the clan. Mortuary pole columns are hollowed to accommodate the cremated remains of the deceased. Okay. And there are different types of poles. There are the crest poles that portray an ancestry of a family. And there is not one in here. So I'll show that to you when we go outside. There is the history poles that record the history of a clan. And there's also not one of those in here. Then there's a legend pole to illustrate folklore or real life experience. And then the mortuary or memorial pole. So here's some of the poles. Well, the poles were not meant to last forever, but this is a uh, dying art, so to speak. And so they are trying to preserve as much as they can. This one right here is a legend pole. This is a house post. This is another house post. This totem is a Yadis crest corner pole and it's fragments. This was about all they could uh, save. never fails as soon as I start video when a car goes by they cut the grass some kids run by it just never fails